Hi, welcome back to my shop. So today I, I made a run to Harbor Freight. I was picking up something for the wife and I came across these. Harbor Freight's version of the F-clamp. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, it really doesn't seem that bad. Um, it seems pretty, pretty substantial, pretty beefy. And so they were also pretty cheap. These I got on sale for $3.99 a piece, four bucks. It was a dollar off, so normally, um, if you're buying them now for this month, which is July of 2012, they're basically, you can get them on sale. So I got these 12 inches for $3.99, um, which even so, you're just saving a dollar. And these that are 24 inches, they, I spent $4.99, so $5 for them. I decided to go back and get, or I decided to get these, right, which were $6.99. Um, these are three feet, I believe, or 30 inches. Not too bad. Like, I'm pretty happy. Um, and in normal price, um, let's see, what would they be normal price? So I bought these six different clamps, right? So I got six F-type clamps for $32. <laughs> that's, that's not bad. Um, it's about half what, you know, I spent on these Bessies. Um, though I, I really love the Bessies, um, I think we need to compare what the differences are between the two clamps. Um, and is this, is this really a good buy? Are they really as good as these? Probably not. Are they gonna work? Yeah, they're clamps. They clamp things. Um, there's an old saying with Harbor Freight. As long as it doesn't have a motor, you're good to go. But I bought these bar clamps there a year or two ago. Because I didn't really have anything good for gluing up panels. They've worked out really good for me. Um, there's really not much to a clamp. There are some issues that I see might, might happen. These here are chrome. So what that does is that helps glue come off easy. Now these are not chrome. Uh, I'm not even really sure what that is. Maybe it's just raw steel. I'm worried that this might have the same staining effect that pipe clamps have. That's one of the things I want to test. Okay, here's a comparison of the two, right? Um, very similar. Um, it almost looks like these are a direct ripoff of these. It even has the ridges here uh, for laying down the clamp, right? I guess that's what they're for. Um, little beefier actually it's hard to tell right it's more metal here than there um, the surface area here looks bigger right though if I unscrew that When we pull off the clamp, the surface area is actually bigger here. Just this plastic pad was bigger there, and that was smaller there. Right? Um, if we look at the plastic plaids, right? This looks actually like it would stay on more, though if we turn those, there's more surface area this way than this way. Not by much though. Right? Another thing is we can look at the two handles, right? Now this is wood, the traditional wood. I really haven't had an issue with it, but this is actually like a rubber grip, 
grip handle. Now one of the things I don't know about, which would be good to know, is here there's a pin that goes through the bar, right? I can't tell if that's here because of the rubber grip, grip right? Pretty, pretty good. Locking mechanisms. Right? The spring on this, the locking mechanisms here, there's a spring that does this. It's actually beefier on the Harbor Freight one. Though I never had an issue with it on the Bessie. Um, one of the things I do notice though is the ribs here are much more pronounced than the ribs here. That might cause a problem when you're really tightening stuff down. Um, but other than that, there's really not a whole lot different. If I turn these over, I'll bring this one in. There's the nib at the end here. This is actually like a rivet that goes through it. This here is just stamped. It's punched here to form that. Now the only thing that does is keep this end from coming off the end. I mean for the actual clamp part coming off. So that punch might just be all you need. I mean, um, and it, if it ever became an issue, you can go ahead and, you know, drill this out and put a rivet in. But I think that'll work. Now, we need to really test what these are good for. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of clamping. Okay, now I don't have any surefire way of testing this. I don't have gauges to hook up and, and pulleys and, and measure clamping pressure with high-tech gauges. I have some pine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp the hell out of the pine. Right? And see which piece I can do more damage to. And I think that's... Is that a perfect way to gauge? No, but is it good enough? Yeah, I mean, I could hook this up to a thousand different contraptions to figure out clamping pressure, but I don't know, it just needs to clamp wood. It doesn't even really need to clamp it that hard. It just needs to clamp it. So, I'm going to go ahead, try the Bessie. And I'll go ahead and tighten until I can't tighten anymore. That's it. Okay. And I'll tighten. Now I'm gonna say, because of the rubber handle, I actually feel like I'm tightening more. In fact, if you look at the amount of travel here, you can see the difference. You can see here, this one is actually tighter. The Harbor Freight is tighter than the Bessie. Just because I can really get a grip on it, I can still even tighten this. They're both tightened to, I mean, that's tight enough on the Bessie for woodworking, but I was able to get that tighter. I'll show the travel here. Um, we started them both completely backed off. You look at the travel there, compared to the travel here, 
I was able to tighten this a lot more than I could the Bessie. And I, it had a lot to do with the rubber grip on here. Now, I probably would never tighten that much. I was able to clamp a lot harder with the Harbor Freight one compared to the Bessie. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and untighten these. A little hard to move these. Um, they'll loosen up over time. Much easier there. Maybe that bigger spring isn't such a good idea. But I think that'll loosen up as time goes on. Um, so let's go ahead and try the gluing up. Now, if you look here, I mean, it's hard to tell. This is the Harbor Freight one, and there's that divot in there. Nothing here. Actually marred the wood. That's what I was trying to see, how much I could clamp. I would never tighten it that much, but it exerted a lot more pressure than the Bessie did. That's surprising. Clamping pressure really actually put the Harbor Freight one above the Bessie. I'm actually kind of surprised. This one actually smells like, I don't know, three-in-one oil or something. I don't know if they put it on there to prevent rust. This is no smell. Uh, I don't know why. I'm smelling my clamps. Is that is that a scientific test? That <laughs> smell the clamps. Oh. Anyway, um, next test we really should test. The test we should test in the testing area of this this test right here we should go ahead and actually glue up some wood i want to know if this bar is going to stain the wood okay now after the the test i did with clamping i'm pretty sure i'm not going to have an issue here clamping these Tight. What I'm checking for is I'm checking to see whether or not this bar on the Harbor Freight is going to leave marks. Now this is make sure. I get glue. A little squeeze out too. Right? Because I'm going to see how that handles. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. of the oak. Oak is really prone to this, um, so I've heard um, that I have the bar resting right on there. I wouldn't know. I don't have any pipe clamps, um, but I'm going to see if that, that causes the same sort of effect. Okay, I just got back from work. I let these uh, glue up for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and pull them apart and see if this how this clamp does with the glue and sanding the bar and I can already tell that it has done that. Okay, so I'm going to pull off the Bessie. The glue's not completely dry. Hmm. Let me uh, scrape off that. Well, it actually did it on the Bessie, right? So, I don't know if that's a result of the glue, but the Bessie clamp did it too, right? So let's go ahead and look at the Harbor Freight clamp. Okay. 
There it is. Here. But it's on both. Here's the Bessie. Here's the Harbor Freight. I'm actually surprised that the Bessie clamp did that. So, I don't really see a difference here. This is a little bigger, but that's just because there was more glue on that than here. But, looks to be the same. So now, I'll look to see how hard this glue is to peel off. And it's not too bad. I mean, it's coming off. Well, I'm going to have to say that I'm really impressed. Um, these clamps are on sale for the rest of this month, which is July of 2012. Um, probably on sale again, but even at regular price, they're not that bad. Right? This clamp, this clamp is what? Let's see. Yeah, $4.99, so it would be 5 bucks regularly. I got it for four dollars. <laughs> they say you can never have too many clamps. I think I'm gonna run out and get some more. I'm pretty much happy with these. So until next time.